Uh, Assalamu alaikum, our dear partners, Mr. Faris and Ms. Uh, dear team of university. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, university and like uh, about facts, key facts. Assalamu alaikum, Barcha. We are going to talk about the first time. We are going to talk about the first time. University of the Arabic High University, Malaysia, the Jolishka. Xudo xolasi bugungi webinarda o'zi kelib turgan barcha ma'lumotlarni, barcha savollarga javobli, qana qilib o'tkir boriladi, qana qilib grants ko'rish bo'lsa bo'ladi, qana qilib viza olinadi, hammasi ham to'xtalib o'tamiz. Okay, Mr. Faris, uh, now I introduce you and uh, our like partners. So I can pass the word to you. You can start. Okay, um, thank you, Mr. Iskandar. My name is uh, Faris. I'm from Education Malaysia Global Services, EMGS. Um, I'll just give you a little bit of introduction about um, EMGS. Basically, EMGS is the um, agency under the purview of Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia. So, um, our main role is that we are the official gateway for international students to come and study in Malaysia. We do have a one-stop center for international student visa management, meaning EMGS uh, will process all the international student visa, regardless from um, private and uh, public university. And besides that, we also function as the, um, we also responsible for the global promotion of the study in Malaysia. So uh, besides uh, doing the visa processing, EMGS also function to promote uh, study in Malaysia and also uh, we do encourage more and more students coming to study at, to study and living in uh, Malaysia. So today we are very um, grateful to have uh, one of the uh, top university for the automotive, which is the uh, RB High Com University of Automotive Malaysia. Uh, they will be with us today for about uh, one hour. And um, they will explain about uh, the courses, the program, the fees, and also the uh, facilities and everything about the university. Okay, so uh, do use this opportunity if you want to ask uh, more questions about the university. So this is a good platform for the students, you know, to ask the question and know more about the university. Okay, so um, to start the program, let me uh, give a little bit introduction about uh, study in Malaysia. Uh, why students need to choose Malaysia as, as your uh, study de destination abroad? Okay, so um, I will share the screen here. Okay. Okay, I will briefly explain about the um, the reasons to study in Malaysia. There are eight reasons to, uh, why students should uh, study in Malaysia. The first one is a world-class university. Malaysia hosted uh, a number of uh, world-class university. Some of the universities in QS ranking, for example, we do have about eight universities in uh, world university ranking. And then um, besides that, uh, some of the Malaysia university also have uh, very good ranking by subject. Okay, there are universities in the top 50 and the top 100 in the world based on the subject ranking. And then the second one is about the affordability. Malaysia is a very affordable country. Okay, tuition fee and also the cost of living. Based on the uh, QS uh, World University ranking, Malaysia ranked as the second most affordable to study. This is uh, the world ranking. And then um, if you see the comparison, the chart here um, about the uh, cost to study in Malaysia and also uh, living in Malaysia. 
For example, in Malaysia, the cost um, for the public university roughly is about 4,400 US dollar per year. And then for the private university, it's about 4,900 per year. Comparing with other country, Malay comparing to other uh, study destination country, Malaysia is uh, among the uh, most affordable destination to study. So you can get the quality education with very affordable price. And then we also modern and progressive uh, country. In Malaysia, uh, we are uh, majority uh, Muslim. And then uh, besides that, we also uh, very modern and progressive in terms of uh, infrastructure. So uh, for the students, you don't have um, any issues in terms of uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, going from the university to the cities and everything because we do have a very system and we do have a MRT subway and also it's very good uh, uh, bus and also the uh, e-hailing system so uh, we do have a, a lot of shopping malls for the students you know who want to spend some weekend at the malls and also we do have uh, quite a number of uh, beautiful parks and everything so for the students to spend time with and then we are multinational multicultural society and uh, food heaven so uh, Indian, Chinese, and Muslim are the main races here in Malaysia. So we are very diverse. We are, in terms of international students also, we do, Malaysia hosts uh, the students from over 150 countries. So we are very diverse. So once you come and study in Malaysia, you, you will make a lot of friends from other countries also, for example, from uh, India, from uh, China, from Middle East, so you will become, uh, you will learn about other culture, you will learn about um, uh, about other countries and everything. So it's good for you once you want to work later after graduation, especially if you go to multinational company, at least you already have a good exposure about the other culture and other countries as well. And also we do offer dynamic lifestyle, so we do have uh, a lot of uh, great places, a lot of uh, beautiful islands, a lot of mountains for the students to explore, especially during the semester break or during the weekend. So you can just take about two or three days, you know, uh, travel from campus, you can go to hiking and then you can go diving, just relax in very beautiful uh, beaches and everything. Okay, we also strategically located at the heart of uh, Southeast Asian countries. For example, from Malaysia, you just take about three hours flight to Bali Island, one of the most famous island in the world. So if you want to go to Krabi, for, for example, you just take about one hour and a half. If you want to go to um, other countries, for example, Vietnam, so it just take about two or three hours. So, so we are very strategic uh, located. And um, besides, Malaysia also ranked as the third most peaceful country in Asia. So it's a good achievement for us. And besides that, uh, Malaysia also, Alhamdulillah, we are free from, uh, you know, uh, natural disaster, for example. There's uh, no massive earthquake, uh, volcanoes, and all other natural disaster. Okay, so uh, this is um, a short introduction about the uh, reason to study in Malaysia. So next, I will play you a video about uh, study and living in Malaysia, okay? Because um, this video is based on the experience of uh, two international students from Uzbekistan and also Turkmenistan while they are studying in Malaysia. I will share you uh, the video now. Okay, mm. okay wait. Um, Wait a moment, I will share the video. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Sorry, I will share the screen now. to be here in Malaysia and I really like my university because university 
presents me so many opportunities to become fluent, natural, uh, when it comes to English language as well. I'm trying to travel in Malaysia because Malaysia is a very beautiful country with beautiful nature and I want to see as much as possible here. <laughs> or ocean before I had so many feelings inside myself this beauty turned my world upside down I was about to cry I really uh, didn't want to believe that this happening in reality and that's why I'm happy Я определенно хотел бы чтобы каждый кто живёт в моей стране обязательно побывал там где сейчас я нахожусь потому что это такое необыкновенное Такое прекрасное место, где каждый человек может найти все, что он хочет. Особенно, если ты действительно хочешь получить прекрасное образование, это один из самых, самых лучших вариантов. Yeah, that's, um, that's all from uh, me. And then I'll pass to uh, Mr. Iskandar okay, for the next agenda. Yes, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask so, dear team, uh, now I can pass to you uh, the words so you can introduce your university, the programs, all like facilities of your campus. So, please. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Iskandar, and thank you, Raja Faris. Okay, uh, first of all, I will share, the, I will present, share our presentation. Yes, we can see it. Hello. Mr. Faris, can you see the video? Um, no, it's uh, hang. Yeah, we can't see the video. Can't see the video. Uh, we cannot see the video. There might be an uh, issues. I think it's better to stop the video because we cannot see it. Yeah. Well, maybe we can. Uh, okay, we can go straight for the presentation. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. The American University is owned by High Com University College, Senior Merhad, HUCSB, um, a subsidiary wholly owned by the RB High Merhad. The university is located in forty-two acres from two hundred fifty acres of Pekan Automotive Complex. Okay, next, referring to this image, the RB Haikam University is placed in automotive complex in Pekan Pahang, which is near with the RB Haikam subsidiary, for example, for example, like Puspacom, Isuzu, DevTech, and also near with luxury vehicles and commercial vehicles producers such as Mercedes-Benz and Volkswagen, has helped entrench our position as the premier automotive university in Malaysia. Plus, you also can see our university village, 
which uh, we label it with the the village. You put a full screen. Huh? Uh, full. It's already screen. It's already full screen. Already full, eh? Okay, it's okay. Uh -huh. Okay, the university tagline is "University by the Industry for the for the Industry." The RB Highcorp is committed to produce skilled professionals to join the workforce and to educate and upgrade the skills and knowledge of the RB Group staff through a curriculum that blends theory with the practical. Currently, the university offers 44 programs, including foundation, diploma, degree, master, and PhD studies, all of which are conducted mainly through two faculties, which is Faculty of Engineering and Technology and also Faculty of Business and Management. Okay, the RB Highcom is the largest fully integrated automotive corporation in the country and is involved in numerous automotive supply chain activities which include manufacturing of automotive components, vehicle assembly and distribution, after sales supports and services, and vehicle inspection. Okay, the companies within the DRB Highcom Group have collaborated with international automotive players such as Audi, Honda, Isuzu, Suzuki, Mitsubishi, Mercedes-Benz, and Volkswagen. Okay, the RB Highcom U plays an active role in the group vision in, real, in realizing the national aspiration of creating a knowledgeable and skillful workforce as prescribed in the new economic model. The continuous flow of trained and skilled workers provides to the Malaysian automotive industry. This vision includes the goal of making Pekan the home of the RB Highcom University and the DRB Highcom Automotive Complex, a vibrant and self-sustaining regional automotive center, which houses state-of-the-art technology with a highly skilled, knowledgeable, and professional workforce. Okay, next we move with the DRB Highcom University tertiary education, which relates with development of a complete automotive ecosystem, ranging, with, ranging from vehicle design and development, component manufacturing assembly, inspection and distribution to sales and after sales service. All point to the fact that we are comprehensively and completely dedicated to the improvement, advancement and elevation of the Malaysian automotive industry and the strengthening of our role in it. Okay, for the fee structure, so here you can see for the uh, Faculty of Engineering and Technology and also Faculty of Business and Management. These are the fee for every program. Okay, academic program. Okay, these are the study duration at the RBH University. So as you all can see, for the foundation programs, it's only take one year for the study. For the diploma programs, two years and a half. For bachelor degree, engineering, three and a half years. Uh, for business, three years. For master, there are two, which is research, will take two years, and coursework, only one year. And lastly, PhD will take three years. Okay, total programs that approved uh, for the RBI community is 44, which is for engineering and technology is 18 programs. Business and management is 16 programs and postgraduate uh, is 10 programs. Okay, this is the entry qualification for Uzbekistan students, which uh, you can see on your right hand side, on your right, on your right slide. Uh, if the Uzbekistan student take a diploma of specialized uh, secondary education, they will take a foundation level 3 certificate or level 4 MKF at Malaysia. Okay, and also for the Diploma of Completion of Secondary Education, Diploma of Professional College, and also Diploma of Academic Museum. Okay, so can I give a question please? Uh, yes. So after 11th grade, they must study foundation course, right? Yes. There is no any possibility to directly start bachelor's degree. Uh, 
Pardon, uh, pardon. Uh, 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 can you repeat the question? Uh, is there any possibility to start bachelor's degree after 11th grade of school? Eleven, uh, what, what, uh, I'm not sure how the um, uh, school system in Uzbekistan, the yeah. one that we table in the slide is the one that we have from our ministry where they have uh, met the equivalency of uh, Uzbekistan qualification towards the entry to our uh, university's program. Mm. So if the, if the 11th year or 11th grade, grade, which is it actually? Is that the one, the first one, the Orta, Luma, something like that, Diploma or Specialized Secondary Education? Is that mm -hmm. the 11th grade? Okay, I got it. Thank you. Uh -huh -huh. Because I, I'm not sure this is what we have officially from our ministry. If the qualification from Uzbekistan match on the left side, which is the in the colored one, so on the right side, that is the programs that they can enroll at our university. Okay, I got it. You got it. it? Ah, you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Next, we will go for the program for engineering and technology. Uh, I will pass it to Mr. Azam. Okay, Hello, Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, okay, for Faculty of uh, Engineering and Technology, uh, we offered uh, several courses uh, related to the uh, automotive ecosystem. So basically, we supported the whole. Uh, ecosystem of automotive, except uh, got one uh, special cases uh, here. Uh, okay, uh, we have a range of uh, diploma program and also bachelor degree program. Uh, first one uh, on the diploma of automotive technology. So basically, uh, this program uh, will um, will teach the student uh, to become expert on the uh, servicing and maintenance of vehicle. Okay, vehicle here include uh, car, uh, lorries, etc. Uh, landed, landed vehicles. Okay, then we have a diploma in occupational safety and health. Uh, this program uh, basically is more general uh, to uh, teach student to become a safety consultant or safety officer in any fields either in automotive or manufacturing field. Then, okay, we have a special uh, program in Diploma of Aerospace Composite Manufacturing. Okay, this is a quite a unique program because uh, we run the program half of the time of study in the university and the other half of the time is in the industry itself. In the... Uh, Aerospace Composite Manufacturing Industry. Okay. Next, we have a Diploma in Information Technology uh, that the student will deal with the uh, uh, softwares, uh, hardwares of the uh, computers. Okay. For the Bachelor Program, uh, we have a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering Technology on Automotive Service Technology. So this program basically uh, got the feeder from Diploma of Automotive Technology. Okay. Next, we have Mechanical of Engineering Technology in Industrial Design. Focus more on the uh, creative skill of the student to design the product. So we have uh, the student will learn uh, more on the uh, CAD CAN system, uh, rapid prototyping, and etc. Okay, we also have a Bachelor of Information Technology that deals uh, with the hardware and software of the computers. Okay, next, uh, we also have a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering and Technology in Aerospace Composite Manufacturing. This program is same as a Diploma of Composite Manufacturing where we run the program half of the time in the university and the other half in industry, in aerospace composite industry. Okay, next, uh, we have uh, mechanical, a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering Technology. It is uh, pure mechanical engineering 
where uh, the students will learn about uh, uh, thermodynamics, uh, static, and etc. And also, we have a Bachelor of Occupational Safety and Health. Uh, this is the uh, same program as Diploma in Occupational Safety and Health, but uh, with different level. So, uh, okay, uh, that's all from uh, the Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Uh, any, 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 any questions before I proceed? No, everything is clear. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, basically, our university, Drabi High Com University, uh, has been assigned as the technical expert panel for automotive division. Uh, this, accreditation, this accreditation came from Malaysian Board of Technologies. Okay, Malaysian Board of Technologies is uh, under uh, government acts that uh, recognize individuals uh, who are uh, professional enough to be to be assigned as a professional technologist. Okay, uh, this is the step basically. Uh, when the student graduated from our university, after three years of working, they are entitled uh, to apply to become professional technologist that was accredited by Malaysian Board of Technologies. Okay, I pass to my colleague on the uh, Faculty of Business Program. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. For Business and Management Faculty, we have ranges of programs starting from Foundation in Business, and then we have Diploma in Automotive Parts Management, where the student will actually learn about how to manage. Um, Customer relationship, warehouse, transportation and distribution, and of course, automotive parts, business and marketing management. And then we have the diploma in procurement management, where the students will be exposed to look at the quality, cost, delivery, and technological capabilities of logistic management, transportation, distribution, Supplier management and ability to negotiate with the supplier effectively. And then of course, we have diploma in accounting. What is uh, business without accounting, right? And then we have Bachelor of Business Administration in Management, uh, which is um, uh, deal with the management of a company. And then we have Bachelor of Business Administration in Supply Chain Management. Because we are in automotive ecosystem, supply chain management is very important for, especially in the manufacturing field, where we have to look from the uh, vendor to the distribution of the um, product. And then we have the Bachelor of Accounting, we have Masters of Business Administration, Masters of Supply Chain, Masters of science in project management and PhD in management. That's all. Do you have any questions? No, actually no questions. Very straightforward, right? From my side. Okay. So I'll pass back to Nchi Haika to continue his presentation. Okay, next I will show you uh, some of our facilities at the RB Highcom University. Yeah, the, the video, it's uh, hang on. Yeah, we can see that. Yeah. Okay, next, I will explain about the scholarship for international students. Okay, for, in, for international students, 
they are the Arbi Haikam Youth International Student Scholarship, which uh, the requirements for the international student, the international students is uh, they must be study at the Arbi Haikam University. Okay, the student will uh, must uh, study on diploma program, degree program, or postgraduate program. Okay, uh, all applications that uh, the student will be screened for selection process. Okay, for the value of award, the scholarship will cover 30% of the tuition fees at the Arab University. Okay, next is the student achievement, uh, the Arab University student achievement. Okay, as you, as you all can see here, they, they are, these are the international students that study at the Arbeck University, which uh, we have, uh, we had a student from Phuket, Thailand, uh, from the two students from uh, Pakistan, which are uh, Humayun Han and uh, Zahir Muzaffar. Uh, we have a student from Somalia. Uh, we have student from, another student from Pakistan. And also uh, Bashar Rami Talab from Palestine. Okay, how to apply for, uh, to the Arabic University? Okay, the online application is uh, enroll.dhshowautomotive.edu.my and you also can uh, visit our website at www.dhshowautomotive.edu.my Okay, for the international student application, there are several steps that they need to. Okay, this is just, just the step for the international student application. Okay. Our university intake, uh, our university have a three intake per year, which uh, one this year, one in August, uh, after that in October, and also February intake. Okay, uh, for August intake, uh, it's for foundation program only. Uh, and August and February is for uh, others, which is uh, October and February is for our diploma, degree, and postgrad uh, postgraduate program. Okay, if you, if you have any requirement, you can contact our uh, Officer uh, Nurhanim Binti Nurisham and also Madiha Binti Madaud. And also, you also can follow us at our social media Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Okay, that's great. Actually, I have some questions if you don't mind to answer. Uh, hello? Hello, yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, okay, uh, so, my question is. How is the situation in Malaysia? Uh, what we can offer to our students for September or October intake? It will be online or on campus? Uh, all right. Um, for October, okay. actually, uh, we uh, already uh, conducted our classes uh, via online. Yes. Uh, and we are also planning to do the same for October session. Okay. And uh, it is practical for business and management program. But for engineering and technology program, some courses or subjects, they may have practical session which require face-to-face -face session. All right. However, for the uh, first semester, usually we don't have any practical session. Mm. All classes can be done via online. So for our future uh, students, we will offer only online classes and then next year from January, they can start on campus studies, right? Yeah. Okay, I got it. 
So uh, another question, uh, as we know, like there are a lot of universities in Malaysia uh, and some of them are really popular in Uzbekistan. So what kind of special offers can you provide to Uzbek students? Why they need to choose DRB Highcom University? All right, okay. First, actually we are specialized in automotive uh, uh, ecosystem uh, per se, as we mentioned in our slide. Yeah. So, if the students really like uh, automotive, this is the university that they should enroll. Because whatever program that we offered, that we listed just now, is, is um, I mean, the case studies, the studies is all around about eco, uh, automotive technology and also automotive industry. Mm. So, uh, what is, uh, and also, if you uh, notice on our slide just now, where we are located, we are in the automotive complex. Uh -huh. So, uh, DRP Highcom is a conglomerate, which the, the specialization is in automotive industry. So, part of the, uh, some of the plants is here in Pekan. So, we are located in the same complex. So, Students who study here, they can see the real scenario in the industry. So they can understand what is happening in the industry. Again, if you uh, notice, we, uh, we are the, our tagline is university by the industry for the industry. We are very uh, in touch with the industry. But uh, all the courses that we offer, is, uh, which require hands-on, we get the industry people to advise. So when the student graduates, they are ready to do all the uh, jobs, tasks required in the industry. So in this case, uh, I saw in the map that Mercedes-Benz and Volkswagen, they have an uh, office in, in that park, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can you offer internships for your students or not in that companies? Uh, usually students go for internship in uh, our subsidiaries including the one that you mentioned just now. Uh, however, it's still um, according to the availability of the company. But usually we send the, uh, our student internship uh, among the subsidiaries. We have not just uh, what you've seen in the park. Yeah. We also have uh, in Sha'alam, in Selangor, in Kuala Lumpur. Okay. We also have in uh, Kedah and a few places in Malaysia as well. We have quite a number of subsidiaries actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so, how many... Uh, by the way, by the way, Skanda, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, internship is part of the curriculum in our program. It's a must to go. Ah, must go. Uh, ah, must go. Then only you can complete your study. Yeah, uh, that's, all. that's really good. After graduation, uh, can they work in that companies in Malaysia or somewhere else, like for example, in Europe or US companies? Yeah, uh, the graduates can work uh, everywhere, okay? not just in Malaysia, not even just in the uh, group of the RB Highcom, they can work everywhere. Yeah, uh, if you look, uh, as I mentioned just now, whatever they learn is actually uh, related to the automotive industry. But again, all the knowledge and skills that they have gained in, in the RB Highcom State, they can also apply in another in other industry as well, not limited to automotive. So they can actually work in any industry. Okay. And mm. our programs also has been full accredited once the student have graduated. One full accredited means that it's already uh, recognized by our ministry. And I, uh, as I know that most of the country also recognize program which has been recognized by uh, our ministry, mm. which is under Mission Qualification Agency M2E. So that it should be no issue for the graduates to work anywhere in uh, in other countries in the world. Okay. Uh, from my side, I think there is any questions. How about you, Mr. Faris? Yeah, I do have uh, some couple of questions. First of all, thank you for the presentation. 
It's really a beautiful campus located in uh, Pekan. Eh? And uh, for the presentation also, I saw the, the RB Highcom is, uh, industry, is university by the industry, as you mentioned before. Okay. And you have your uh, own uh, niche program, which is um, automotive, automotive industry. Because I understand Uzbekistan also one of the uh, largest car maker in uh, Central Asia, right? Uh, yeah. We have GM, like uh, our yeah. company, like, our local company, like collaborating with Chevrolet. Uh -huh. So we are producing Chevrolet cars here in Uzbekistan. Mm. Oh, good. Yeah. So, so it's good for the uh, students out there if you want to venture or take uh, course in uh, automotive uh, related program. Yeah. And another thing, because the, the university also I saw is uh, located at the. Um, Automotive hub. Yes. Hub. So um, there are a lot of uh, international, you know, manufacturer car plant. For example, Mercedes Benz, Volkswagen, Honda, and everything. So it's uh, give a good exposure for the international students who study in uh, the RB High Com University. And uh, I have a couple of questions. Uh, the first one: Can you share a little bit about the uh, success story? or about the graduate employability uh, of the university. Yeah, after they graduated, how many of them, you know, secured the jobs and everything? Okay. Yeah. Uh, our graduate employability now maintained at a rate of 90%, which they work in the related areas. Uh, one of that is our tradition. They may do some other things like they continue their studies. Right? They may do their own business. So okay. so far we have no uh, issues in terms of graduates and probability. Okay. Uh, so, uh, actually, uh, most most of our graduates work with the sub uh, the RB Highcom subsidiaries. Yeah? Uh, however, we yet to have graduates. Uh, we already have graduates, uh, international student, but uh, he went back to their home country. So I'm not sure whether he already works or, or not. Uh, but the rest is still study. So uh, we don't have any experience towards graduate employability for international students. But local students, so far we have no issues. So uh, we did not promise them to. Uh, to work with the group, but as much as possible, the alumni unit is uh, uh, helping the students to find suitable jobs for them. Okay, so the students can choose to work in Malaysia after graduation or go back to their country and, uh, yeah. for example, uh, in Uzbekistan, you know, in the automotive industry in Uzbekistan yeah. also. Even our, our local uh, graduates also have worked uh, outside Malaysia. We have uh, in Singapore, okay. even we have in Dubai also. <laughs> uh, so meaning to say that the, uh, the program itself is not limited to nation market and probability. <laughs> so they can work everywhere in the world. Yeah, so again meaning to say that the program also is internationally recognized. Yes. Sure. By the uh, other industry. So uh, it's very good options for the students who want to pursue to study in the uh, autom automotive industry, especially. Yes. Yeah. Besides the university also, uh, for the viewers, for the university also have uh, a program in a business related program also from uh, diploma until uh, PhD, is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, until a PhD program. And um, another question is, um, what are the uh, English requirements for international students to study in uh, the RB Highcom University? Okay, say so they have to IELTS six point zero or an equivalent. Uh, equivalent. I think that is the standard. Actually, that is what is. Uh, uh, I think issued by the government, so we just follow. So I think uh, whatever the other university uh, English requirements is just the same as us. Okay. IELTS six point zero uh, or equivalent. If uh, the student doesn't have IELTS, so what we can do in this case? Can you offer language courses? Offer, offer 500 units. No, can you offer the language courses? Usually, usually Uzbekistan, what 
will be the uh, English examinations that they took? Actually, we have IELTS, uh, IELTS right. examination. And sometimes if the students doesn't have IELTS, uh, Malaysian University is providing the language courses in Malaysia. Okay. After graduating language course, they can continue their studies in a bachelor's degree or foundation or diploma. Okay. Uh, that, that is the same, uh, the same procedure here. Uh, whoever yet to uh, achieve the English requirements, okay. mm -hmm. I have uh, 540 for engineering programs. For business, I think I uh, accounting required 6.0 I have. All right. Okay. For TOEFL, 500, 100 marks. Okay. Uh, and any other English uh, at the same level, lah, okay, uh, equivalent to that uh, grades. However, if the students yet to get that English qualification, they can come still come over to the university. We will provide, we call it a uh, conditional offer letter. Mm. Let's say they want to uh enroll bachelor automotive program we can we, other requirements they met just that the english requirements only yet to met so uh, we of give a conditional offer letter uh, that condition is to pass the english program mm. within one year so they can come to the university in the UST, we will provide them with the English program. Then see, right. we did that one year. It's not necessary at the end of the one year. So usually what we do is that every three months, we give them the exam. Mm. If they uh, pass, then they can start doing the bachelor program. Okay. So if they are in Malaysia, we will uh, prepare them. We call it at MUET, Nation University English Test. Okay, I got it. That's okay. cool. So, uh, I have another question. Uh, yeah. Do you provide short courses or not? Like for one month or two months? Yes, we have. Uh, at the moment, uh, the short courses is tailor-made. Which means that if we have um, demand, uh, the what are the courses that required by the uh, participant? Okay. Uh, so we develop that short courses for them. At the moment, we do a lot of short courses for our staff at the subsidiaries of the RB Highcom. We I'm also provide why. short courses. Okay. I'm asking why because okay. like uh, the car factory in Las Vegas, now, like GM, the Chevrolet. Sometimes they want to like improve the skills of their employee. Uh, That's why yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have like one month courses, we can provide them. It will help to promote your brand as well in Uzbekistan. And like we can collaborate with GM Uzbekistan. Oh, okay. So we, we do, we do that kind of short courses. As I mentioned, uh, we do that uh, short courses for our own uh, group staff which is also, of course, they are doing the things with regards of the automotive, like Mercedes just now, Isuzu. So we can do the same for automotive company in Uzbekistan as well. We can tailor-meet the content of the uh, short courses if required. Yeah, it will be really useful to exchange the experience and to get the new ones. I think from my side, I don't have any more questions. Everything is clear for me. Yeah. Um, uh, some of the uh, last question about the scholarship, because uh, you offer about 30% scholarship for international students. So, uh, you still offer for this October intake, the 30% yeah, scholarship? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, every year, we have uh, 50, 50 50 quota, 50 place for that, uh, regardless of program. But only for diploma, bachelor degree, and postgraduate foundation that uh, don't have that kind of uh, scholarship. 
Okay, from bachelor degree and postgraduate, the students can apply for 30% scholarship, which is uh, quite uh, good. But uh, 30% of the tuition fee, because the just now when we uh, present the fees, we yeah. have two types of fees, tuition fees and other fees. Yeah, so yeah. that 30% uh, comply to tuition fee only. Okay. Right. Okay. That's good. Um, another, another one about the accommodation. So the university provide uh, in on campus accommodation, right? Yeah, in campus accommodation. The the mm -hmm. one that uh, shows the village that oh, okay. uh, have three towers just now. The uh, the facilities for the videos too. Uh, that is actually the hostel. We call it UC Village. Okay, so, so we have. Uh, uh, a number uh, uh, three types of three types of room. We have single bed, two bedded, okay. and four bedded. Usually, international students uh prefer the single bedded room. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's very convenient for the students uh, because yes. uh, the university provided the on-campus accommodation, and uh, okay, so it's just walking distance from uh, the campus. Yes. And uh, another uh, another things that I would like to share, uh, maybe it's not any of our slide. Uh, our campus actually is just nearby uh, the seaside, <laughs> nearby yeah. the beach. Okay. If they like the beach, so they would like to stay here even less. Uh, and also behind our campus is the river, the longest river in Malaysia, in uh, Peninsula Malaysia. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. I, I, I believe the students will um, enjoy, you know, st studying and uh, living at uh, the Arab High Com University because yeah. uh, the surrounding area also is quite uh, peaceful yeah. and uh, nearby the beach and also, you know, nearby, across just across the river. So I think uh, the Arab High Com offer a very conducive environment for the students, you know, to study and also study and living. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Mr. Skandar, do you have uh, any further questions? From no, the is everything clear? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry because just now uh, I'm not uh, from the start of the session. Uh, I would like to introduce myself. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm Safiza. So uh, at the moment, I'm taking care of the uh, registra uh, registries of these. Mm -hmm. So as well as for the uh, student recruitment. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Haikal is doing the student recruitment. Okay. Okay. So, so, uh, so uh, even for international student is also under my purview. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh, with that, I would like to uh, thank you so much uh, to the IB Haikon for your time and uh, opportunity to be with us today. Okay. To give a brief overview about the campus uh, to our viewers in uh, Uzbekistan. So um, I believe the Arabic High Com offer a very good uh, program and courses for the students who want to pursue their study abroad in Malaysia, especially in the uh, automotive uh, program. Okay, uh, Mr. Skanda, what do you? Yeah, uh, thank you very much for today's webinar. It was really productive. And inshallah, I think uh, a lot of people will be interested to join your university because like your programs are really special and we, are, we will try to promote your brand as well in Uzbekistan. Okay. So uh, I hope you will support us in this case. If any yeah, questions, sure. email you, of course, I have all contacts. And okay. thank you for Mr. Faris to arrange this kind of event, uh, like webinar for our students. For you, for everyone, it will be really helpful. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Th thank you so much. Thank you. 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 See you in Uzbekistan one day. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.